The president says the sequester will hit military areas like Hampton Roads the hardest. Shipbuilders and local businesses are already feeling its effects. Ten on your side's Lauren Compton talked to business owners and sailors about that tonight. Lauren, what they have to say. For years, the finances of this family has been woven and held together by service. My uncle is retired um, Navy. Um, he was a chief in the Navy, and all his um, three brothers was in the Navy too. So it's like four brothers. Now the family serves the Navy in a different way, through the stitches and weaves of alterations. From the looks of things at Chief Max and Emma's alteration shop, the sequester hasn't put a halt to Navy and Marine business. Thank you. Yet many wonder how long it will stay that way. Might end up being about 15 to 20 civilians that would be laid off or go on leave. Some, uh, some other civilians that we work, work with, rather than working five days a week, they'll only work three days a week, which can take them way down in budgeting issues. There's people that are losing their houses or thinking they might lose their houses over all this. You get five shirts? Five shirts. Others are hopeful members of Congress will patch things up in Washington to lessen the blow of the sequester. I trust that our government's going to look at it and they're going to make their cuts in the bigger programs, whether it's um, the manufacturing of the new F-35 Joint Strike Fighter or the building of new barracks is. I feel like it's going to mitigate it on a much larger scale. Than on the troop level. Just in case, though, Justin Lee has lined up a backup plan. I already talked to my parents, uh, actually, and they, they said that they will help pay for me to fly out, fly back to Wisconsin and live with them if it does happen to go that bad. If not, other than that, sell my car and try to get at least 2000 out of it. <laughs> Crystal Pio Quinto says like the many battles her elders have weathered before, they are hopeful their shop will conquer the battle of sequestration as well. The Marine I spoke with says he feels very confident he will continue to get paychecks and get raises. He believes the biggest effects of the sequester will be laid off deployments in the future.